call the meeting to order at 6 30. Do we have any additions? Yes? I would just like it to be noted in the um, in the minutes that um, we're going to address the North Street um, issue that Jess Cobb had raised. I saw her again today at the co-op, and it doesn't have to be an agenda item to talk about. But I just would like to be noted that it's going to be it's it will be addressed. You mean the issue will be addressed? Yeah, just I just the road like issue. To, sorry, the road issue. Yeah. Correct. It doesn't have to be discussed here, but just that. Okay. Sound good? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I had a conversation with the neighbors there, too. It would be pretty great if the four of us, um, including Jen, the road commissioners, and uh, Seth and I could, I mean, uh, Scott and I could, could talk afterwards if you have time. Sure. Um, Jen, did you have any additions? No. Okay. Great. Review of minutes, August 19th. Right. Motion, um, motion to accept the minutes. Uh, second. Do you have a second. Any further discussion? Uh, if there's no further discussion. All the favor, please say aye. 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 Guys, appear to have to do that. Um. Oh, nobody's taking What's what's it? She's got it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Again, just try something. Good. Um, public comment. Got it. This gentleman came in. Is he public? Hi. Yeah, Hi. I'm public. Public comment about the minutes? No. I'm here for Sander Circle, Horn of the Moon. Oh, okay. And just a follow up question about the generator. Oh, okay. Well, that's an item, agenda item, so. Yep. Okay. So we are going to move Sander Circle Culvert Replacement Vendor Selection. <clears throat> so we have. Three. Mm -hmm. Go three. Three. Sander's mm -hmm. Construction, Contractor, Green. And blue mountain. So what's the scoop here? It's not a blue mountain one. And Does Guthrie have Guthrie, a recommendation? You, you uh, tuned in here? Yep. Well, I see him, but I don't, I don't see a mountain one. <laughs> the uh, only thing I saw that was a little more promising than the rest was that CCS. Um, was the fastest timeline or the the soonest to be completed, I should say. I have a question about how comparable these proposals are. So for example, uh, CCS said that ledge room removal unit price of $200 per cubic yard is not included in the proposal. And I can't tell whether it's in Daniels or not. They, the other two did not add that in. Um, the reason that CCS added that in is because they only bored one side of the road, not the other. So they, well, they bored one side of the washout, not the other side of the washout. Oh, right. To see if they were ledge. There's a minimal chance that they're going to run into something like ledge. Yeah. Okay. If the other companies ran into it, it's something they would probably try to come back to us and say, you know, it's an unforeseen option. That would be what I would suspect. Mm -hmm. How comfortable are you at them not including uh, any information on how much they would charge for that unforeseen option? What was that, Carl? How, how comfortable are you with the other ones not telling us how much they would want if they encounter ledge? Like I say, I'm certain it would come back to they would say, hey, we hit ledge, there wasn't supposed to be ledge, and that's we would be right there in the same ballpark. I'm 99% certain we're not going to hit any ledge. Yeah, okay. The, the borings we did, we didn't hit anything solid until 40 feet deep. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, so the cheapest one is Daniel's, but do you, what do you have, what do you think? Do you think CCS is probably a better option? Or? I feel like CCS, um, I like their short timeline, their turnaround times fairly quick. Um, and they are fairly local. They're out of Morrisville. Right. I, I, they did jump right on it right out of the gate when we started talking about temporary bridge originally. Yeah. They were there within a day or two. So. I mean, I've been, I've seen a lot of their jobs. Seems like they do a pretty good job and on time. Is that your? Yeah, the the town's got to see it firsthand. The big bridge on 14, right in the village, was one of their jobs. Right. Yes. Um, is is there a penalty if they don't complete the job on time? We did not add that in anywhere. Okay. So, and my only I'm only bringing that up because you mentioned. It's you know you're, you're you're leaning toward them or you're favorable because because they have a quick time you know a shorter timeline but if they don't then they, then they just don't <laughs> yeah that's kind of kind of is the way that it is yeah um, the other flip side of that is that if you want to look at it from a financial standpoint that it's only six and a half percent out of our pocket. Hmm. Or any of them. Right. Right. And we also do a contract, which we could put the timeline on that contract. Just. Well, when they say approximately, it's like, you know. Right. It is approximate. Approximate. You got, weather, approximate. You got snow, well, you know. Daniel's approximate time is the middle of January, and that's going to be a lot shakier approximate time, in my opinion, doing yeah, construction absolutely. work in December and January. Yeah. I think CCS is the way to go myself. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a proposal to accept CCS's con con uh, constructors bid. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Guys, good to have you do that. So, okay. Could I ask a question about? that uh, project sure. i'm yeah. curious uh there was um discussion about the uh being able to be in the creek you know past november with the state is that something that's that we don't have to worry about yes we the actual in stream we should be completed well within any time that they would put on it um, the other part is the state really hasn't hasn't been 100% firm on that out of stream data uh, in the last few years. So, Great. I mean, there was people working in the Winooski in January last year because the ground was available, material was available, and there was no high water in the forecast. So. Yep. Great. Thank you. Okay. So let's move to the Horn of the Moon temporary repair forward estimate review. So we've got some quotes on that. Uh, we also have pictures to pass down so you oh, can picture. see I love pictures. what it looked like in, on 7 2024 20, and then what it looks like now. So there, you know, there was damage. So there's multiple copies, these are the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Is there one for each person? Uh, there are just three to pass around. That's right, just take a look. You can see that. I can pass this one. I, I've seen that. Continues. I, I I checked it out the other day. Oh, you saw it. <laughs> so, and then also one of the residents brought up the need for a road sign, possibly for weight limit concern. What? Cut through you. What do you think about that? About putting weight limit on it. Weight limit sign. On what? On the on the road. On the road permanently or just a temporary? Just temporary oh, because oh. there's larger trucks barreling through there that um, one did a U-turn. So any of the trucks that would be traveling at this time of year would have a permit already, like an overweight permit. So it'd be a little difficult to really to police it. Yeah. Did you want these pictures anyway? Same ones. Mm -hmm. Um. So. 
I see the estimates from Prime. Do we have other ones? There's two. Barry's for Oh, Barry, I see that one too, yes. Well, a uh, difference between the two. Yeah. The, so Farnham's doesn't have any compaction or a bulldozer in it. Um, yeah. So that's where the big difference would be. Um, I'm pretty certain that if that's something we wanted to really push on, that Farnham's could rent one and add it in. So I, I don't think they're hourly wise. I think they're right there in the same ballpark um, for their excavator. That's the big portion of it. That's 250, the other one's 200, Aries. Why do you need the bulldozer? Do you just do it all the excavator? The contractor would be the one making that choice. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely do it all with an excavator, yes. But I think what they were shooting for was more ramping it down in, so cutting it back further towards Sanders Circle. Correct. It's about the same excavator time. Yes? So I don't see anything on either of these for cost of material. Is that something that we would be paying for? Yes. So we would be involved with the trucking and we would purchase the material. Okay. See, they've got two dump trucks in there, Barry does. Right. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If you took Barry's trucking out of it, that it's really just the excavator time. Yeah. And if we wanted to add in a roller, I honestly don't think it would be any price difference. Um, right. Meaning whatever Barry has on there is pretty much what a rental would be for one also. Um, and the majority of that material would be a permanent placement. Um, yeah. Some of that will be coming back out in order to do an actual permanent fix um, in the future. Right. Because this will be very much like the Sanders Circle one. Um, I did have the state jump on it right after the flood this past year through a hydraulic study, because that's one of those things that can drag on sometimes if you have to have an engineer do it. Um, and sometimes it takes a year for the state to get them back to you. So they actually had extra staff on right off the bat this year. Um, so we already have the hydraulic study from the state back and they're calling for a 16 foot wide, eight foot, three inch clear space structure to be in there. So clear space, meaning eight foot three with two feet of fill in the bottom of the pipe. So more like a 10 and a half. So 16 foot wide, 10 and a half foot tall structure, with two feet of bottom. Putting, putting stuff in the bottom, huh? And so that would be the permanent fix. No, so that would be in the future. Nothing that's on this right here. That's why what's I, I don't want to spend a ton of money on this project other than the shot rock. I'm totally fine with the big rock that we'll be placing there. That could be sorted aside and reused, no problem. Yeah. Now will FEMA pay for a permanent fix? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the, the next the next the next FEMA disaster um so the July of 24 um we only have a handful of things that we're actually going to submit for that in my opinion this one yeah. will be this temporary repair and permanent repair uh, which hopefully we can get engineering done on it over the winter this winter yeah and then Coburn Bridge we had material that had to be brought out of the river there which we hired an excavator for and it got hauled away by the state, which you guys signed the MOU to have done. Yeah. Okay, so they'll pay for the temporary repair, FEMA will. will, yeah. Yeah. Well, I kind of lean towards Farnham myself. I mean, they're right around the area doing a lot of work as we speak, and they're local. Yeah. So, I don't know. The, the only thing that will be a little different there is we will probably approach Mike Brown to add to our trucking. Um, yeah. So, like I say, it, it's still going to be trucking. So. He, yeah. A thicker shock when there's there's going to be it calls for fourteen hundred yards of material total. Oh, yeah. So, yep. That's it. So it's going to be probably seven hundred yards of not very quality material, like four bucks a yard. Um, and then the big rock on the outside will be expensive. I'll just put it that way. Yeah, and that's yeah. not that's not in here. That's right. That's not in any of that. That's still going to be. We're going to be paying that and having to hold on to that until FEMA reimburses us for that. So, yeah. Okay. So I, I have a question. Yeah. Would it make sense to have Farnham run a dozer to 
cut those banks back so that hopefully this does not happen again until we get a permanent fix. So that's that's where I'm kind of at is I think if you guys are set with Farnham, I think we could manipulate them <laughs> to talk to them of having them do pretty much whatever we want. Um, all of that's going to be at an hourly rate. Where it gets tricky for me is how much I can allot them to do before I would run into financials myself, um, where I would be capped out on what I'd be comfortable allotting them. So, because we have to upfront that one, we would be paying that bill out of pocket. Yeah, that's right. I understand that, but if you've been down and looked at it, if you look up back towards Sander Circle, there's a bunch of junk in the brook that needs to be those slopes need to be fixed. Yeah. Otherwise, so, it's going to happen again and again and again. Down. It just keeps falling right down. Yeah. So I, what I'm concerned about, not yeah. having a dozer coming in there, is not cutting those banks back and you can do that preventing that. You probably can. Yeah. But as long as it gets done, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We wanted some clarification. So you're talking on the upstream side of the culvert? Correct. So all the work that I was talking about is all on the downstream side. So it's all just getting the culvert back and the road back to full width. Yeah. That's it. We weren't going any further than that out of any of this. And like I said, I'm certain all these contractors would be willing to work with us once they're on site. But okay. that, well, we are constrained because we have to pay for it ourselves. Uh, I understand we'll that, but it doesn't do anything when it gets washed out again. Which has been fairly slow. Yeah, yeah, I get it. We have to cash those. Well, it sounds like we, it's kind of a moving target, really. It depends on how much we do, how much we decide we want to do. But we did pull, you know, the trigger on one of these contractors. I, like I said, I moved towards Farnham. It's not really because the price is really, in the long run, the price is going to be about the same. Uh, but Farnham is local, and I lean towards local people, and I think they do a good job. I'll make a motion that we go with Farnham and leave it up to you how much they do on the upside, but if they can, at least clean some of that debris up that's definitely going to fall in and plug that frickin' culvert right up again. Yep, I've talked with Pam a little bit, um, so she's the owner on... Yep. <laughs> Did you do a freeze? We freeze. lost you, Guthrie. Who's going to come Okay, so we, we heard you say you talked to Pam and then you froze. Got yeah. Okay, uh, so I talked to Pam for a second uh, the other day and she said there is a footbridge up there that is definitely lodged up on the bank. Um, so there's some other stuff there too that could definitely get cleaned up upstream. Yeah. Okay. And there's a, there's a walking path. So I, I feel like the landowner would be willing to work with us also because she's worried about it coming down and blocking the culvert up. So. Good. Yes. What What's the sequencing between the the Sanders Circle culvert and the Horn of the Moon work? Like, how does that work? Given that, what seems like, well, Sanders Circle is closed now, and Horn of the Moon probably is going to be closed as well for this work. Is that true or no? No. No. We should be able to keep it to one lane. We're not. Okay. If, if we weren't able to keep it to one lane, it would only be closed for probably a day or two at the most. We're only talking about four days worth of work. And so the other question is, segueing into that is, when would this be done? Uh, so I I had told everybody that, I, uh, so Derek and Farnham's, um, I told them both that I wanted to get started on the 16th. So a week from today. Oh, good. All right, yeah. perfect. And I already ordered the band for the culvert. Uh, that came today. So we are ready to go on that front as far as once the culvert's up there and we've got some material to set the old culvert on, we can band it back together and right. commence yeah. that feeling. So you said there's going to be one lane or are you closing the entire road? We're in hopes to leave it to one lane for the time being. If we have to close it, it would be for like one day. Okay, so you obviously have to not you know, make notification for buses or... I don't know if the, does the bus route go? The bus hasn't been going down there. He's been turning or turning up Jacobs. So, okay, all right. Yeah. They've been dropping kids off at the four corners. Okay. Oh, what the same Yep. Oh, good. No, I see in there something, but there's also down below. Okay, just putting on the radar, just in case oh, the school has not noticed. 
All the way up. So, question, Guthrie, about any work done upstream from there. Is that also eligible for FEMA reimbursement? It should be. Um, there's, there's no reason that it shouldn't be at all. And I'll make sure I talk with Jaron, our stream bank operations, and he can give us a really good idea of what we should and shouldn't be doing. Okay. Oh, perfect. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so did we make the motion to refer? I did. You did. And I'll second it. Yes. Yeah. It's okay. done. Seconded it. Do we have further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All right. So I should put that. I do have it. So that sounds great, Congress. Nice to get that going. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Okay, do you have any more questions? Um, not really, not for this meeting. I can speak to Guthrie independently of this meeting. No, I really appreciate this coming together. You know, people who live in, in our area in Horton will yeah. you know, look forward to that repair and appreciate the efforts. Yeah, it seems like we're moving along pretty well. So let's yeah. just hopefully Thank weather you. holds for us. Okay. Um, donor road curb cut approval. From select board. So Guthrie, we don't have any notes from you on this. Do you do you have a Thanks for coming. Thank you, Ron. I thought that I had put in that an eighteen inch. Yeah. yeah. But we'd met up there a long time ago. Okay. Oh. It's, it's an old one in all of <laughs> right the one on the website. Oh. Let me see what's here. Jersey people. So I don't see any issue here, but do you? I don't see any issue. It's pretty much right across from Dunkling. Um, okay. Yeah. And like it's, it's been, they actually were excited that there's going to be more people up there as of probably three years ago. Now this is still class four, right? That road? Correct. Right. And there's more people asking about that all the time. Okay, that's why I, that's why I asked. <laughs> yes, sir. Motion to approve the curb cut for Donner. 24036. That too. Second. Permit number. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Now, this is a copy of the book sign, Jen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> And the date is 999. I'll pass this around. Uh, okay, so let's see. Birth and death certificates to be stored at state archives. I don't think, I don't, I don't think anybody should die. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I like that thought, but I don't think it's realistic. But that's what I can make a motion. Yes, Rosie? Um, the, to preface this discussion, um, three years ago, the state legislature determined that the state of Vermont, the health department and the secretary of state would be the custodians, the legal custodians of all birth and death records for 1909 forward. Oh. Okay. Um, and that meant that clerks were not permitted to use for any purpose the copies of the birth and death certificates that we have sitting in our vaults. To get around that, they said, okay, clerks can't look at their paper copies, but we're gonna give you a database that has access to everything in the state. So therefore, you can look things up for attorneys or researchers or genealogical people, you can uh, create certified copies for anybody in the state. They don't have to, if you're born in Barrie, you don't have to go to Barrie. You can go anywhere to get your right. birth certificate. Same with death certificates. So I literally have about five feet worth of books yeah. in archival stuff yeah. that we're not supposed to use for anything. That's and That's the remember. state archives is now <coughs> offering free storage for those documents. Now, I would only be sending the birth certificates from 1909 to 2013 because of the way that the books are set up. Yeah. 
in death certificates from 1909 to 2010. But that's still going to give me a lot of a lot of space. Um, and all those are in the data data database. They're all in the database. Um, we've had three years to go through the database and to work at it. There yeah. were some bugs in the beginning. I will say that. Yeah. But we use it successfully every day. Um, you do. We do. Um, and you just get a copy. Of you that. can get an informational copy. You can get a certified copy. Huh. Um, it's really pretty simple. You don't even need to have the date of birth or the date of death as long as you have a full name. Yeah. You can look it up. Yeah. I've had four genealogical requests in the last seven years. Yeah. And of those four, two of them were for 1903 or before that. Um, all of the information contained in all of these certificates is also available um, online at Ancestry.org, or if you don't want to pay, FamilySearch.org is also, um, that's a free service. And all of these documents have been scanned into their systems as well. So you're recommending we send so them to... So my recommendation would be yeah. that the board move to authorize the town clerk to sign the state's archives ascension agreement, which will outline which documents that I am submitting to them for them to have forever and ever, amen, um, as the legal custodian. Yeah. Okay, can we see that? Sure. So it sounds like a good idea. I'd like to make a motion for what she said. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'll second that motion. <laughs> yes, to get to authorize the town clerk to right. however, you know, give it to Jen. Move that. Uh, because I'm an appointed town clerk, I needed this authorization from you folks, and the copies of the minutes will also Great. be attached to that. So I would like to have a copy of this that's filled out. Of this, course is, this is a blank check. It is a blank check. Right? Yeah, this says records description, nothing, date range, nothing. Right. Oh, we just got to put that in. It's, right. That's the stuff that I just got this today. Uh -huh. yeah. This is okay. actually a pilot program that the state is starting. I'm comfortable being their guinea pig. I and where will they actually be physically? They will physically be in Middlesex, Middlesex. the state archives. So this state archive accession agreement with the record description being birth and death certificates. Birth certificates dated. 1909 to 2013. Yeah, death certificates 1909 to 2010. Containers volume? What would be? They're, the, they're just listed by okay. year. Okay, and then I have a question. The select board memo talks about researchers seeking confirmation of birth or death that occurred during or after the year 1903, and then the year 1909 is being bandied about too. Well, so that's because that. whoever the clerk was um, didn't start books, and uh, they started books, but the, the clear delineation is 1909. So I don't mind keeping an extra three years worth from 1903 to 1906. Uh -huh. It just makes it cleaner because 1903 is in a book with not from 1903 to 1908. Okay. And then I have a year that's kind of in lots of different places. Yes. Okay. Uh, the rest of you guys want to see this? So, okay. so um, if you were born in 1903. Yes. It's not in the database. It is not, and it's not in it, but it is here. But it says you're not. It says researchers seeking that occur during after are no longer permitted to view documents. They're no longer permitted to view documents after well, 1903. Well, that's an individual town So here, during it says even yeah. during. Yeah, 1903, January 1, 1903 was the cutoff. Okay, so. But I'm just what I'm saying is because of the way that my books are. Okay, you still have them. I'm I'm keeping a few. You're keeping them, but people can look at them. Right. Mm -hmm. Hold on. And later on, if we want to get rid of that extra. Yeah, from 1903. But this to frees up some space too. It, it frees up almost two full shelves. That's a lot. Yeah. Right. Now, if I could just do that with marriage, I'd be really happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Okay, so we're good. <coughs> so, did you guys vote on that? No, we didn't no. vote. We we got a vote. Uh, we had a motion in the second. Yeah, we're discussing. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Guys, yeah, pretty happy to do that. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Yeah, so thank now you. I'll move on to my second request. Oh, good. <laughs> Yes. Um, is this uh, item number two, clerk office closure on days proceeding? Election? Yes. Okay. So that's the next agenda. So the days before an election yeah. are almost always the same days as a board meeting. 
which means that the assistant clerk is busy doing board meeting stuff, getting your warrant ready, and is unavailable to do any clerk stuff. Oh. And that, that's also the day when we have to go up to the school and set up. Yeah. Um, those are the two logistical reasons why I would like to have the office closed to the public. We'll still be working. If people want to bring in their, their ballots, they can drop them in the drop box. If they want to vote, they're just going to need to wait until tomorrow, you know, and vote at the polls. Um, so this is just, you're talking about the upcoming presidential election? I'm talking about every single election coming up because this happens every single time. Oh. Um, the other thing that we've noticed is, especially in March for town meeting, you have at least three checklists, sometimes four. Because you have the town checklist, you have the Washington Central checklist, you have the Central Vermont Career Center checklist, and last year we also had a presidential primary. The numbers were all over the place. Um, at the very end of the evening, when the JPs are, are counting everything and trying to tally it to what the tabulator says, it was a mess. It was an absolute mess. Having the extra time the day before to sit there and literally go through the absentee votes and the checklists one by one. It doesn't have to be the assistant clerk. The treasurer can help me with this, or, uh -huh. or I can get a volunteer to come in. But that helps with the accuracy of the count. Right. And we saw this actually happen for the school budget count. The school budget count was dead on because Heather and I had the time that afternoon to sit there and go through and make sure that the absentee ballots and the checklist were absolutely the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Wow. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, so I understand that there is more and more scrutiny of elections sure and is. election practices and um, that you have a limited number of hours and you want to use them to, to <laughs> and get I everything right. Resources here right, too. right. Um, on the other hand, in Vermont, we have a very long and strong tradition of making it as easy as possible to, to vote with same-day registration and, and voting starting 45 days at a time. And I'm concerned that people might come here saying, oh, I didn't get a ballot, or I lost my ballot, or something, they and would, would want to vote on that Monday. And I'd hate to see people turned away because they're going to be out of town on Tuesday or something like that. Well, so I'm like you said, could I, could I finish? Sure. So I'm wondering if there's a way that we could, you know, help you accomplish what you need to accomplish that day, and still make sure that people are able to, to vote that day in the town <coughs> office if they need to. Can members of the BCA, for example, come in? Well, it's a matter. It's a matter of making sure the members of the BCA will commit to being here mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. um, they're not permitted to use the checklist. Heather and I are the only ones allowed to use the checklist. Mm -hmm. So we. They can't yeah. track anybody yet. Um, those are the kinds of things that we run into. I don't know. I don't think it affects the election that much one day. There are a number of towns. Well, it's the last that day that if someone's going to be gone on Tuesday and they say, yeah. oh, I've got to vote before I go and I don't know what I did with that ballot. Mm. Well, you what know, do we do? Do we I'd be happy, Carl, to make a compromise and put the note on the door that says that we're closed the day before the election, right. but if you must vote today, right. I'll good. give them my cell phone number. Uh -huh. That way, I'm not dealing with the regular phone right. system. I don't, I'll give them my cell phone number, and they can call me, and we can arrange for them to come in to vote. That right. sounds like it would cover all the bases. Yeah. That would work. That's a good idea. And if they were standing at the front door, well, if they're right. standing at the front door knocking, well, first of all, they're going to see the note. That's, they what, don't that's have my point. Phone. They'll see the note. They don't have a phone. If they don't have the phone, Everybody they're knocking something. on the door. We're going to go okay. try right. to help. Okay. Them. I mean, we're not going to that, that, that sounds like a good one. Um, it's just a matter yeah. of as. Carl said we're really looking at much more um, strict yes. election oh, yeah. handling, much more scrutiny. Right. I mean, to the point where, um, as you may or may not be aware, uh, these federal elections, we have to hold these ballots for 22 months. Wow. And that, and the final day, the, the day when they can be destroyed, yeah is usually on a Saturday or a Sunday, just the way the calendar falls. Yeah. And last year, was it? No, it was two years ago when we had the last sort of general election. Um, there was a request, of, a First Amendment request, or a public information request for all of our ballots on the Monday following yeah, the, the deadline for destruction. 
Now, we're not going to let our ballots just go to anybody. You, you're not allowed to let your ballots go. You are the custodian of those ballots. Yeah. So you keep them until you, they're, right. they're no longer gone. But it was a huge lawsuit. The Secretary of State had to get involved because every single town in the state was asked to do this. <laughs> so it's got a bunch of us thinking, maybe we're going to come in on Sunday and, um, you know, Ooh. recycle our recycle our old mm -hmm. ballots. So you have to deal with that. But, um, wow. Yeah, but it's it's really getting to the point of we want to be able to provide records when people ask them yeah. um, in a reasonable time frame. Mm -hmm. However, um, the scrutiny and the division in people is causing more work. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have a guy running for president who says the only way that he's going to lose is if the Democrats cheat, and he's focusing well, a lot of. Lot of I'm not allowed to get workers. into political aspects of it, except that I will say either. that there is more scrutiny involved yes. than ever. Right. So I that's appreciate true. your acceptance of my my possible comment. No, no, that's that's a good plan yeah. because you'll be more accurate, and accuracy is important. Yeah. And, right? and Carl's point is, that's we, don't, point. we don't we don't we don't want to shut anybody no, out. No, we don't want to. But there is the right. option. And we but, there is, not, there is an avenue. Idea, and that'll work. There is an avenue for them to yes. participate. Like there probably will be a few people. Oh, I lost my ballot. I'm going to be out of town. Blah blah. There's always a few. Now. There are. There are. You're right. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to turn them away. So, so right. you, you would need an extra board of civil authority. Uh, well, I'll be talking to the board of civil authority okay. about that in the next couple of weeks. Okay. We have a abatement meeting to schedule yeah. as well as a board of civil authority meeting yeah. to schedule. So. Um, well, good idea. Yeah. Great. Right. Thank you, Carl. That's and just going to be easy. Yeah. Really yeah. Brought this up. So we need a, a motion. Point. Yeah, we need a motion. I'll okay. make a motion that <clears throat> be allowed to close the day before the elections. The clerk's office only. Clerk's not office. The town office. Great. Clerk's, clerk's office only, uh, and that you will post your cell phone in case somebody loses for an election emergency. For an election emergency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good idea. And. The request here is for all elections, and I yes. think I just heard you for this coming election. No, for right? all elections. For all elections. Okay. elections. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to just see how it goes, but we can always reverse it later on. So yeah, it's a problem. It's, yeah. A, it's a problem. It's a problem, yeah. I'll second yeah. that. I'll make sure that this is widely publicized. Yeah. Great. So that Great. people yeah. understand. Yeah, that people aren't surprised. Right. Well, or in that, and in this case, this particular election ballots will be going out in a couple of weeks anyway. Yeah. And they're being mailed to everyone except those who have been challenged or have moved in. Or yeah, yeah. And so. it puts and it puts people on notice that oh, it's going to be closed. So let me come on the week before if I know I'm going to be out of town. Well, yeah. Hopefully. But you know, people. Last I know. Yeah. You know, I know. Yeah. Which is a good point. So, okay. Any further discussion on the motion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you for bringing that up. That's a good point. Thank you for coming to the meeting. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Uh, treasurer report. Tax sale engagement letter needs signature. Hello. Hey, Michelle. Hi. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. How's, how's the audit going, or is the audit's kind of done, huh? The audit is done. Good. I read your good. I read your notice. Yeah, it's everything went good. Um, we had like twelve adjusting entries, which they haven't given me yet, which is less than last year and the year before. So we're doing good. Did they recommend to keep the treasurer? Yes, they did. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought I read something different. <laughs> no, I I, re I read that I read that she's doing a great job. I just wanted to oh, reaffirm. Oh, I wanted to reaffirm. Right <laughs> you read that? That's what Seth read. I read. I read. I read something different. <laughs> okay. Up. Yeah. Okay. So monthly financials are on hold. Um, we just got to wait until the audit. Everything is done with the audit. So it's going to be a little bit. Um, and then the next thing is a tax sale. We're getting ready to do a tax sale again. So I'm reading the names here. Of course, some of them are repeat offenders. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Design. Oh, well, whatever. I could probably shouldn't say it publicly. The fourth one down can be a tough one to collect on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And the fifth one down might also be a hard one to collect on as well, I'm thinking. But we'll see. We'll see. So, <laughs> so I'm hoping that only one of, like, I'm thinking only one of these may end up actually going to tax sale. But I think the rest will get paid before that happens. 
but we can only do those six because they have to be over one year fully delinquent now. It's a yeah. new tax rule, tax sale rule. Yeah. So um, I just need Seth to sign the letter if you guys are okay with that and we'll get going. I'm fine with it. Okay, perfect. I mean, we've had to do a motion on that. We do need a motion, yep. I move to authorize the chair to sign uh, the authorization to go to a tax sale. Is that what it is, Michelle? Yes, tax sale engagement letter. The tax sale engagement letter. Yeah. yeah. I will second that. Perfect. Thank you. We, if, we, we didn't vote yet. We have to vote, Michelle, so relax a little bit. So, <laughs> and relax? What? Oh my God. We, we got to vote for it. We got to vote first. <laughs> Don't talk against your position. Anybody have anything to say? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Now you can. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank no, thank is you. Is this the one I'm supposed to sign, the one that's in the packet? Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. This one. The one you have. Yep. The one I have. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye. 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 -bye. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um. So nothing there. One. It's going a little fast, huh? Yeah. Slow down? Yeah. <laughs> no, so we don't have to slow down. We don't? You no. want to raise? Yeah, I haven't had dinner yet. You haven't had dinner? No. Me either. Well, then we can have dinner. Not really. I did a little work. No. This, this is just child play. It's something you got to fit in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so let's talk about Wednesday. I really can't make it on Wednesday. <sighs> is that? What about you? I, I had a conversation with Carl. Um, yes, I can. Um, I, I'm going to be leaving at like three o'clock in the morning for a flight. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. I'm wondering how many people are going to show up. You know whether maybe a hundred. Can you be there? I will be there. Yeah. Cara can be I there. Can be there. Yeah. And I don't want to shirk my responsibility. Yeah. Zoe still gone? I don't know. I thought Zoe said she was going to be back on the tenth. That'd be good. Which would be today, right? No, or tomorrow. Tomorrow. Or tomorrow's yeah. night. Yeah. Before Wednesday. I mean, well, if, Wednesday. if it's an emergency, I can come, but I'm not going to add that much to the conversation. Really, we have David uh -huh. Boy coming yeah. and Andy Shapiro, both are excellent. Guthrie's going to be I'll, there. I'll, I'll, so. I'll log on. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I will definitely log on. I mean, if it, okay, that'd be we, great. we're not going to make any decisions, so if we don't have a quorum, it's not as that. No, right, right. And I really should be in. But we will have a quorum. Yeah. We will. Yeah. I'll log on. Yeah, you log on, yeah. Okay. That's acceptable. Thank you for bringing that up. The other thing is, though, I think we're going to have to think of some incentive to have people come to the last one. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I big do big really time. think we're going to have to. I'm, I'm afraid you're going to have four people show That's up. That's what I'm afraid, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So we I need to incentivize it somehow. Like yeah, there's free hot dogs or free burgers or something. Some picnics. I, I think there should be some sort of list. But it's going to be November. Let's come up with some. So well, we're not having it outside, but so it's some sort of like light refreshments. For yeah, the something, some incentive, something, yeah. some way to incentivize people to come. And it's usually you have to do with food. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know it's food and four point nine million dollars. Yeah, I have four point nine. They're gonna go like this. But if we can get them to come to the meeting, and educate them. That's that's our job. And we need to get them there. So get in there by incentivizing somehow. It already says with light refreshments at the town garage for Saturday. That's for the November tour. Yeah. That's we had more people to tour. Yeah, no. This last month. Yeah. So. Apathy is just amazing. Yeah. We'll see what happens on Wednesday, but you're gonna. Yeah, I'm not optimistic. I know. You know. Okay. All right. That's my that's my speech you now. Your, that's your spiel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three eight nine. Okay. So these are the more, these are the warm. Town administrator report. So basically we have employee training coming up for both the clerk and treasurer this week. So um, the back office is open um, and the front office will be closed. Yeah, I read the notice. Okay. Good luck in the training. <laughs> Everything else is good. Employees are still here. Nobody's yeah. no mutinies or anything. No. Good. Good to hear. We're gelling as a team. So That's pretty nice. It's yeah. good. That's good. Good. Mm -hmm. <coughs>
So Washington left a co-op, that's the town garage. So oh, there's the park. That's only 53 bucks for over cost here to the power bill. How much? $53. Okay. And that says park and ride. Okay. Remember we were yeah. talking about that. Yeah. We were curious on what the that was. was. Yeah. You know, that's in the summer months when the flight turned down all that much. Yeah. That's, right. Yeah, right. We should check it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Give it to the senior guy. Okay. We're, we're junior. Is that so junior elected recently. Um, anything else, Jen? Uh, no, uh, we did send out the uh, Butters letters um, for Sandra Circle and Sodom Pond culverts. Yeah. yeah. So um, those went out to the residents surrounding those culverts to sign. I know. Yeah. We're always surprised. Oh, no, it happens every year. Isn't that weird? <laughs> uh, um, okay. So we have our meetings down. Yeah. When is the Coburn uh, bond discussion? So we had it slated for tonight, but then it got pushed one more time. Okay. For folks so, to prepare. So it's the 23rd now? Yep. Okay. So the 23rd, I may not be here. Okay. If I can make arrangements, I will be, but. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be here on the 19th, 18th of November. But, uh, um, I, have, I, yeah. I have a thought. If we can just go back for one second. Sure. What if we put up a sign or something or some sort of promotion about, you know, in the front, about, you know, many of our, many of our constituents drive by here, just, yeah. most people are just so unaware of this garage vote. Right. And maybe some sort of promo. A billboard. Something. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever would be legal in Vermont. It's temporary. It can be so, some some I sort of sign on property. As long as it's temporary. And it has to be on our property. All right. Some, 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 some sort right. of temporary something. Because people, are gonna, I think half of the people are going to say, what garage? 4.9? I don't know about it. Oh. Exactly. And right. we have enough. Well, time it's amazing to do some how temporary. many people don't realize how much equipment the town has to store. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't have to get into the specifics here, but right. some sort of maybe promo. I mean, does it make does that make any sense to be, make people aware? Well, let's, let's just take your. If it was a big one, like four by eight. Let's take your sign suggestion, and you know, I've seen some towns that have those marquee type signs right. with the little plastic letters. Which is not a bad which, idea to put here which, anyway. Which you can use <laughs> for whatever. Can I a sandwich board thing or? No, not a sandwich board. Those uh, sort of like a movie marquee. Oh yeah. Down it, the ground right. Level. So you have yeah. plastic letters that you put in. And they, would, right. and, they, and they would say, like, you know, tax payment due. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. We right. Should, it would be nice even if we had an electric one. I mean, we're not talking about doing that now. <laughs> but we're kind of flashes the, the, the date and the light and, yeah. the, and the time. Those are having nuts because I, I go past them before the whole message goes oh. by. <laughs> anyway, can, can, we look, can you look into something like how that? How can we, yeah, how would we do that? We'd have to get someone to create it. Yeah. Okay. You, you can pay people. I mean, we're not talking about thousands of dollars. Next time no, I drive by one, I'll take a picture. What's that? Next time I drive by one, like yeah. we'll gen 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 do some research. Yeah. Okay, so what we really are trying to push is the information meeting, which is November 2nd. Yeah. Right. That's what we're trying to push. Right. Both and the garage meeting and, and the, the garage yeah. the garage tour. Yeah. Yeah. So often and, and, and that there is a. What's that? Often ways would work. We could stand out at major intersections. And that the politicians. You volunteer? And that there is a vote on this. Oh, yeah. Well, I think people yeah, will vote exactly. because it's at the presidential thing. Yeah. They're going to vote. <clears throat> That's the problem. We're trying to educate them so they know what they're voting I mean, on. The yeah. question is, or, or a thought also is, that is so close to the election. Depending on the turnout for this Wednesday, maybe we should schedule another one with promo and say maybe there should be one the very end of October or... Well, we statutorily have to do it within 10 days of the vote. Right? Well, we are. We're going to have the November yeah, no, 2nd anyway. You're so saying you can, add another one. Because of absentee voting. Yeah. Because people, if the ballots are going out in a couple of weeks, maybe we should have one in the middle of October with some promo. Another thing is, I was thinking, let's put a targeted ad on the presidential debates tomorrow night. 
but, uh, but, but seriously, I was thinking, it's been a while since I've done anything with uh, targeted Facebook ads, but back in the day, at least, I assume it's still the case, you can carve out a section of geographies and, and say, I want this ad to appear only for people in this particular area. Uh, so if we bought, some, and it's very inexpensive, relatively speaking, for a person to reach that way. So maybe we could look into that. So as far as signs, uh, sign here right over on Town Hill Road may have some options for us. Could, could, we, could we put something? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. One of these. Yeah, a banner across the website. That's a good idea too. Right, right. across the picture or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to look into it. Whatever. So, or we, you know, pay them a hundred bucks to figure out whatever to. Right. You know, to right, right. Superimpose it on top of it. Or whatever. Right. However you. Yeah. However you can go into the system. Yeah. Let's get some. Let's try to get some imaginative program. Promos going. And the idea of having another meeting is not a bad idea. If we get. If we can incentivize people to go to the meet. Yeah. Sure. Right. Somehow. Even have you know, ice cream, ice cream, exactly, an ice cream party, ice cream social, what, exactly, ice yeah. cream social. Up at the elementary school on such and such a day. Exactly. Sunday, Saturday, whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Bernie yeah. Sanders will be there. Yeah, Bernie's gonna come talk about the need of a town rock. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Politics are your choice. So maybe we can make some decisions next next count yeah. next uh, select board meeting based on. What happens on Wednesday? Wednesday. 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 Wednesday? I think it's, we obviously know it's critical. Yeah. If I can get there, I will. I don't think I can get there in the field. I'm in the field. I gotta be in the field. Even if, okay. Yeah, you gotta have people. You got people that know. Or even if you're home, you can just. What's that? Even if, I know you're right down the road, but even if the meeting starts at 6 30, you walk in at 6 29, have Kim set it up for you. Well, I'll just drive to school. Okay. It's whatever. just that I may be at, you know. Whatever. Field somewhere. Whatever. Where there's not even cell phone reception. That's what happens all the time. Yeah. You don't even have a cell phone reception. You're like, eh, I got I get you working. Oh, oh, cool. seven thirty. Oh, take your phone. All right. Start it out, but you don't even know. Take it home. Are we all set there? Nobody else? Deb, you're good? In... Nobody else is here. Okay. I'm good. I'll second that. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 aye.